Hello, in this video, this video assumes that you've already hacked the PlayStation Classic. If you haven't, I've got videos covering that. Feel free to check them out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the NPS browser, which is the no PlayStation browser, to essentially download any game you want and run it on the PlayStation Classic. So I'm going to show you all of those steps on the computer side of what you need to do. No disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes. I, you know, I'd say make sure you already own the game legitimately, maybe it's via a digital download on the PlayStation 3, or you own the original disc and the original game from your PlayStation 1 days, or, you know, you've gone out and bought it. The game I'm going to be using or downloading is Crash Bandicoot 3. You can download any other game, but Crash Bandicoot 3, I own in digital and in physical form. So again, this little disclaimer, this is for educational purposes only. So what you want to do is open a web browser and you need to search for NPS browser. Go to the nopaystation.com website. I'll provide links to everything that you need, so don't worry about that. There's a few things you want to download from here. NPS browser for Windows OS, click that. Just download the latest version, which for me is 0 0.94 next you want to download this psx games tsv this is basically just a list of all of the games and the download links and this hooks up into the nps browser next you want to download pkg to zip this is just required for nps to be able to you know convert and download the file so we just go to releases we'll just download the 32 bit that is fine one last little thing that we need and that is called ps extract extract is missing the e as well but like i said i'll provide links to everything so if you just select the top link go to release select ps extract.exe and i'll show you what you need to do now so go to wherever you've downloaded all of these files they're right here i'm going to create a new folder for ps1 um, not PS exclamation mark, PS1. And now let's move these over here. And what we want to do now is set up this MPS browser. Before we do that, we just need to extract this. So I'll just extract it right here. I'll extract in the same location. So we've got the PKG, PKG2. Dot, no, let me just minimize this. PKG2 zip. Dot exe. We can down, I mean, delete the original zip file. So delete that. Now we can set up NPS browser. So if we double click this, click OK, that's fine. So go to the game section, go to psx.tsv, click browse, and you just want to select your psx game.tsv, navigate to it if it doesn't automatically go to that directory. Now you want to select the directory where you want your downloaded games to be located. For me, I'll put it in the same directory, but you could organize your folder a little differently, you know, maybe a bit better. Now what you want to do is go to any PKG DEC tool. So this is just the decoding tool. Select PKG to zip.exe. And now we're ready to go. Click X. This will reload. If you ever want to make sure you get the latest set again, go to File, Sync Cache, and now we can search for our game. So Crash Bandicoot 3. I have the PAL version, the European version. So I'm just going to select this, click Download and Unpack. This won't take very long at all because the game is very small and you get very good download speeds as well. So you don't have to worry about, you know, you know, ads popping up everywhere, if the game's going to be in the right format, if, you know, if the download link will even work if the download will be of high speed or whether you have to wait like 60 seconds and then you get a download link and downloads at like pre-dial-up you know, pre -up speeds. You don't have to worry about any of that. That's the fantastic thing about what I'm showing you right here. Okay, this is done now. And if we go to our folder, the new folder called PSP EMU. So go to there, go to PSP, go to game, go to, well, it doesn't you know show the exact name, shows you the code. And you want to grab the eboot.pvp and .dat, copy this, and you want to put it wherever your psextract.exe is. So if I paste it here, and now 
if I were to actually you know what I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it PS extract just to make it easier to see what's happening so if I move this to the wrong section so if I just cut this put in PS extract now if I open up command prompt in here you want to change directory to this for me because it's in a different drive I have to do E colon this change it changes it to the E drive CD but you just change it to whatever drive you're on and click enter okay there we go now what we want to do is run this PS extract.exe so we do PS extract dot exe space dash c this will ensure that we get the files converted to bin and queue you may have noticed we get an eboot.pbp which is a playstation portable aka a psp file and we cannot run them directly on our playstation classic put dash c then the name of the pbp file so eboot.pbp click enter it will pick up all the data it will decrypt it and once this is done, I'll show you where your files are. So almost there, just a few more seconds, and it should be the image will be built. Fixing the CD ROM image. Almost done, almost done. Yep, it's all done. So if we look, there's a few folders. There's the PVP, which has extracted the information from it. There's an ISO which has pumped out a dot bin file. And this is essentially a like dot ISO, you can rename it to dot ISO. This isn't what we want. We want to go to the CD-ROM, which gives us the bin and the Q files. And if we edit it, we can see this is in the correct format like so. So these are the files that you would add to your USB stick using the Bleem Sync hack. And that is what you would plug into your PlayStation Classic. I'm not going to show you that, you know, in this video, because I've already created a separate video, which was the setup part of this series. I'll provide links to that so you can check that out. But very simple, you can get any game you want. Like I said, one more time, little disclaimer, this is for educational purposes. I already own this game in digital form and in physical form, but you can get any game. So if you have all the games in the world, you know, go feel free to go crazy. Simple stuff, you don't have to go to different websites anymore because one of the main reasons I created this video over some other videos that I had planned was a lot of people was asking me that oh the download link I'm using or the pre-existing file I had weren't the right format and I was just thinking you know nobody's created a little tutorial on how to do the MPS browser there must be a way you can convert PBP to ISO and BinQ so clearly this is the I would say the optimum easy way without any ads so that's it thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.